Hello everybody, my name is Leo and with this video I will share a direct comparison between the Boss IR2 versus the Line 6 Pod Express in terms of features offered with the help of a very detailed comparison chart. Let's start! Let's check out the differences between the two units considering the items shown in the screen like amps available, effects, I.O. etc. We have 11 guitar amps in the IR2 with 11 Celestion IRs. The amp simulated are among the most iconic ones with Fender, Marshall, Vox, Mesa etc. On the other hand the Express offers 7 amps and 7 cabs. The picture in the screen shows the amp selection differences between the two units so that you can check out yourself which one better suits your needs. The IR2 offers the possibility to load third-party IRs with 11 slots available. On the other hand, the Express does not offer the possibility to load third-party IRs, but you can only use the internal caps. The IR2 offers two presets where the Express manages 21 presets. The IR2 offers three reverbs that are room, hole and the plate where the Express offers a more complete set of effects with a noise gate, four distortions, four modulations, four delays and four reverbs and you can have all of them active at the same time. I mean, the signal chain allows us to load four effects plus the noise gate plus the amp and the cab. As regards MIDI, neither of the two units offers MIDI ports. I don't know if it is possible to manage MIDI over USB, but I don't think it is possible, as there is no mention about MIDI functionalities in the user manuals. As regards I.O., the IR2 has a mono guitar input, an effect loop with a mono send and a stereo return, unbalanced stereo out and an headphone out. The Express has basically the same I.O. with one pretty important exception, that is the effect loop, which is missing in the Express. So here the IR2 offers a pretty cleverly designed effect loop, as it is located after the cab and before the internal stereo reverb. This approach allows us to hear the effects placed in the loop also with our headphone and furthermore the stereo reverb of the IR2 is truly usable as for instance you can place a whatever stereo effect like a chorus in the loop and before the IR2 reverb. The IR2 has one foot switch where the Express has two foot switches, both of the units offer an expression pedal input. The Express offers a 30 second stereo looper that is missing in the IR2. In terms of special features I would mention the dedicated computer app of the IR2 with which you can upload IRs and you can define some basic settings of the unit where, as far as I know, the Express does not have an app. In fact, if you check out the Line 6 web page, you may notice that for the PodGo you have the PodGo edit that is not available for the Express. But please let me know in the comment section below in the case you have better info. Furthermore, I would mention that the Express offers a tuner which is not available in the IR2. As regards ADA conversion, and USB ports, the IR2 offers 32 bits and 96 kHz converters and can serve as a 2x2 USB-C audio interface. The Express, on the other hand, offers 24 bits at 48 kHz converters and can serve also as an audio interface with 4 USB channels instead of the 2 of the IR2. Therefore here the boss offers an higher conversion frequency where the Express offers more USB ports. Obviously it is up to you to decide which option you prefer. 
Then we have the power needs, where the IR2 runs at 9 volts and 150 milliamperes, where the Express needs 500 milliamperes. Both the units can be battery powered, but the IR2 uses one single 9 volt battery, where the Express uses three AA batteries. As regards the dimension and weight, they are very similar, even if the Express is wider, where the IR2 is 100 grams heavier. And lastly, in terms of price, the IR2 is a little bit less expensive in euros and the Express in dollars. So let's summarize. In my opinion, the main differences or the differences that I would highlight are, first of all, both of the units offer a pretty different set of amp simulations. So please check out which one has the amps you are more interested in. Then the IR2 offers the possibility to load your custom IRs, which is not possible, at least as far as I know, for the Express. And this is quite a bummer, as IRs have a big impact on our tone, and many of us, myself included, have a set of favorite IRs that we typically use. Then I would mention the bigger selection of effects offered by the Express, with distortions, delays, reverbs and modulations, where the IR2 offers just a reverb. On the other hand, the IR2 has an effect loop that lets us integrate the unit with other effect pedals, uh, which is more difficult for the Express not having a loop. With the IR2 we can, for instance, place a stereo chorus before the IR2 stereo reverb, where with the Express we cannot place any effect in the middle of the chain, let's say our favorite modulation before the Express delay. And that's why the Express is a bit more difficult to integrate in a complete pedal board, unless of course you just need to place effects before or after the unit. Then we have the looper and the tuner that are not available in the IR2, that on the other hand offers a computer app, even if pretty limited, but still useful to set up the unit. Lastly, I would mention the four USB channels available in the Express, where the IR2 offers just two channels. Please let me know if there is something wrong or there are other differences that I didn't mention and that are important for you, so that uh, together we can reach this comparison and help other guitarists who are unsure which unit to buy. Let's now jump to our final considerations. Final considerations here, and let me say that uh, it seems like uh, Line 6 has checked out uh, the IR2 making this consideration. Ok, I will do it differently, I mean, try to differentiate the two units with many different choices. I mean, it seems like Line 6 said, IR2 has an effect loop, we don't put effect loop in the Express. IR2 has only one reverb, we put more effects. IR2 uses one 9 volt battery, we use three AA batteries, etc. It's kind of funny, but checking out the differences, I had this strong impression. I mean, Line 6 wanted to do it differently. <laughs> Other than that, all in all, I would say that the IR2 is designed to be standalone or to be integrated in a more complex pedal board, where the Express is more oriented to be used standalone, as an only one solution, I would say. Of course, you can integrate also the Express in a pedal board, but without the effect loop, basically, you will be able to place your effects only before or after the Express, which is pretty limiting, in my opinion, in a complex pedal board setup. On the other hand, the IR2 has just the reverb, being more difficult to be used as an all in one unit. So, these were my final two cents. Please let me know your precious and valuable opinions in the comment section below. And please subscribe and ring the bell as I have ordered an Express and therefore we will deep dive much more the options offered and the sound characteristics of the unit with future videos. Even if uh, both the units seem already sold out, so I don't know when I will be able to have the Express here in my school. In the meantime, you can check out my comparison of the GX100 versus the PodGo 
to have a pretty precise idea of the tonal differences between the Express and the IR2. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.